Hello once again, it's Dave Knight here from 123daytrade.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you for being here. Uh, I have arrived again to the funded account after seven days in the uh, step two. I had a reset along the way. Uh, I think I had a reset in both step one and step two, to be honest, if I remember back. Uh, this is going to be day seven right now uh, that I was able to get through it. I got 60 ticks. And I'm at 32.207.1. Um, the next few days will be like the proverbial take two ticks, go after 10 or something like that. As long as I finish above 32,000, uh, we're good. Uh, so that's the overall goal right now. Let's just uh, let pause here and bring up my top step trader account. All right, so here's my step two account after the reset. Um, So it looks like we're at 100% whatnot. So this is showing after day seven's balance 32,207, and I have three more days left to get to. Um, I mean, looked at this average winning trade, winning trade percentage, average losing trade. Uh, there's a bunch of different odds and ends in here. Um, average win loss duration. I've been holding my trades a lot longer, to be honest. Uh, catching, you can see I caught one for six hours. I think that was uh, 16th of Wednesday uh, into Wednesday before the the open, uh, the crude oil inventory port. And yesterday I held it for five hours um, overnight, looking for, that was June 24th. First into the second, 22nd. So I held that one and uh, was able to uh, basically try to work almost like um, I don't know what this Coach T Beta is, whatnot. But this is the um, the uh, account itself. So 32207, uh, 705.2 netly. Wow, that's not really best day, worst day. Um, yeah, I just took a small loss on that day, or small win. Notice that I was able to pull out some nice wins on this one. Uh, I started on June 1st and finished it. I'm not, I'm trading like two to three days a week, basically, to be honest. Uh, I'll finish these next three days to finish up the, the, uh, the combine the step two to get to funded before my reset amount comes in so that I can go to the pro funded account. So the goal right now would be to go to pro funded uh, and then work the 5,000 and then withdraw it or uh, transfer it to make it the pro account whenever or the funded account with that money or withdraw it or whoever I decide to go about that. Now let's show you my setup as far as last night. I've been doing a similar setup when I see a, a very similar thing on um, in the overnights. Overnights to me is basically any time after the market closes into the next day. You can see I got involved in it right here at uh, 2145, which was, uh, it's like, is that 945? Uh, just before 10 o'clock uh, I like this setup here let me get my screen draw tool out because it'll make a little bit more sense if I do it that way what I'm looking for is the looking at the highs <clears throat> and I'm looking at the day prior which when I move over when I bring over the daily chart the hourly chart it'll make more sense about what I'm doing and then the volume bars uh, coming across too. So looking for a setup to get involved with and take advantage of, of a move. In this case, I was looking for a move back towards the pivot point from R1 to pivot uh, was the overall goal here. And uh, this is what I've been doing consistently here when I see the right setup happen. Uh, there's a similar setup that happened on that other day that I held for, what, five hours? 
and this one I held for six hours uh, overnights so I'm looking for a move back to basically if you think about water right uh, water seeks its own level in case and a lot of times what you'll find the water level is the pivot point right so the market moving back towards pivot is what you're looking for as an overall trader from R1 uh, being up here and then you're looking for it to move back towards the pivot line and then proceed basically going across so water seeking its own level and in this case a move back before it would come and so consolidate is what it ends up doing uh, I've been doing this consistently I do it as a, a, a positional and a swing trader an awful lot um, you see the the uh, 209 you see this big old sell-off come in through here and here's actually the actual fill of the trade itself uh, which came in at 257 a.m. so this was the fill uh, at the 60 tick mark and it doesn't matter what happens after that right you know you're just uh, I know what I wanted to accomplish in my trading day I wanted to take a move to, back towards the pivot and you can see during the rest of the day the market was does whatever it wants to do because it doesn't doesn't matter it doesn't affect my breathing I've already taken advantage of the trade that I was looking for and then get out so here's the uh, morning activity right so here's your morning so it sets up a nice little rally uh, coming down again back towards um, the pivot point and then it kind of holds the line again and then as you can see it finishes off here here's the 130 mark here um, it's a pretty simple setup when you look at it from another way let's bring over some uh, charts so you can see kind of the overall thought process behind the trade and we'll work top down here so you can see my my thought process so here's your hourly chart I think this is still no this is the daily chart see I have my um, I'm still looking for a, a move back down towards we've uh, here's the the lines that I've have on the chart so far right this is the the the, um, the channel that's been forming I guess we could almost get rid of the middle part of this channel now but you have the other two here that uh, we have not been able to maintain so it's you could actually do another side of a channel here this looks like you we could actually throw in more of a channel here um, using maybe even this up through here and then let's settle that in a little bit let's get uh, let's move that up um, so here's another channel being formed here and I'm expecting it at some point to sell off and head back down to the 60 handle. Um, so we're just taking little shots at it every so often. But what I want you to focus in on on this particular chart on the hourlies, let's bring the uh, screen draw tool out. What the setup that you're looking for is basically something like this. And if we go back and look at what day did I say that was June? Let me pull up my. Uh, I have to stop the screen draw but uh, so this is this is the up move right here and then you're looking for it to sell back down um, basically meet in the area of what I wanted to see is it to get a little lower but I figured we could at least get back to pivot and it also corresponds with the GAN number and I want to show you that as well and when we start thinking about things uh, that are going on in the market you want to try to put as many things as you can in the same spot so the more um, charts you can show showing the same thing uh, for instance here's a screen draw on the same time in a 15 minute chart right here here's your up here's us here Here's the buyback right there off the sell. So moving towards the pivot line, towards the 200 bar SMA, as many things as you can find 
that you can get back to um, the more apt the trade is to be successful so crude oil the CL market likes to retrace a lot know your market in other words the market that I like to trade I know it likes to retrace it likes to it'll do it'll stair step its way up right kind of like and then you get your retracement side of it so this is a blow-off type of volume move if you think uh, I mean uh, of a of not volume the volume here on the day is what you see there but you see a blow-off up move going on and then it kind of consolidates up here now it could have obviously ran this direction and if it would have went that way uh, I would have taken a 30 you see here 22 32 point tick hit if it moved up so basically what I was looking at was a 60 to 32 move it's basically what I've been doing lately um, to take advantage of a move that I believe but also given it enough space that it has enough ability to be able to hold uh, above a certain range and knowing what kind of market you're into this helps uh, the overall so I knew what kind of pattern I'm looking for this up thrusting movement a consolidating pattern and then a comeback to the water right the water being the uh, coming back water seeks its own level again right so that's what I'm getting at water seeking its own level it will reach back down a little bit and then it's going to do whatever it wants to do now maybe it breaks down it doesn't really matter maybe it breaks up you're gonna keep volume and volume will tell you what how the overall market's going to be doing that's an overall it's not, nothing is is set in stone you really don't know which way the market's going to go you're just playing um, you're playing the how you're playing percentages you're playing how the market is going to act as a overall when you're looking at is the trade itself based upon your past experience of how you look at a trade to me uh, if we go back and look at uh, I think what day was that was it 21st very similar setup that I want to show you that I held um, there it is right there it was the 16th so we want to go back and look at the 16th so let's go back let's grab our hourly chart and let's go back to the 16th the 16th had a similar setup Fourteenth. Fourteenth. Here's the sixteenth right here. Uh, so the sixteenth. Hopefully you can see the same thing I'm seeing right now. What I'm looking at, right? You see this up thrusting movement right here, and then you see that sell off coming in to the next day. So reaching in this case, the pivot point was was um, we'd have to go back and look at it but uh, regardless this is where the pivot point was today this was reaching back down towards pivot or s1 one or the other so it was reaching back to a level that I believe the market could get back to so water seeking its own level the level being roughly in this area right there and looking back here there's your water there's where water can seek right so it goes up the wave comes up the wave comes back down and the wave decides to do whatever it wants to do at that point right but at time of trade when you're looking back in in your past and your history and you see this upswing movement like this is this, this extreme movement into one direction and it consolidates a little bit then your odd the odds of it coming back and seeking its own level are pretty high um, 70 80 percent of the time the market's going to come back once again you know I was I think I had a 60 tick hit uh, trade with uh, a 30 probably around 30 to 24 tick stop loss going on that particular trade uh, coming back down 
Notice it just barely broke over here and then it come on down. Uh, and I was out overnight and once again I was out before the actual market pretty much started up the next day uh, on the trade session. So it, uh, it's, 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 it's a very specific setup now hopefully you can see it. On an up move you're looking for basically uh, this thrusting volume and you see it over here by the way you see a consolidating pattern and you're looking for water to seek its own level to come back down in a nutshell that's kind of the trade itself as an overnight and it doesn't happen very often but when it does happen you're trying to take advantage of this swing coming down uh, here's another move later in the day and it goes up for a little bit and then it comes down and then it goes up the next you know so um, not every day is going to work you can see that this one kind of come up and over and then come down and then you see the up swing of the market right there and you see all right th there's a good setup coming here's a down day right and then the up swing back to it so water seeking its own level coming back the other direction right so here it comes down movement and the up movement right back to this water seeking its level and level coming back to basically this area right in there where the water roughly is sitting so in other words when you look at water when I'm thinking water you're talking about interest um, where is the market interest right now at that point in time it's roughly in this area right through here basically the set what's that say 7160 coming back and forth through there 7150 roughly so that seems to be the level that it was seeking back and forth for a while back and forth it hit 7150 right back and forth back and forth consolidating around 7150 comes down parabolic move down parabolic move up parabolic move up parabolic move back down think of it that way as well all right so I think that's enough of me chit chatting with you today I'll be taking the next three trading days basically to get to the pro funded account to move on to the next level um, I've been just doing things a lot differently this time taking my time only trading a couple days a week uh, taking just just chilling and uh, I, obviously I have to do that because of my work schedule that I'm in at the casino right now but can show once again that you can take your time find your right setups Find what works in your wheelhouse and my wheelhouse is being more of a positional uh, swing type of trader finding those kind of trades that I know have a high probability trade set up to it attached to a movement looking for in other words the 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 concept that I'm talking about right now is kind of what I believe when Bruce Lee when he says empty your mind right uh, water will seek its own level so and then in this case you're just you're just waiting for the market to set up properly. It works both sides of the way, right? It works uh, down, uh, up going down, and a down going back up. It'll, it'll a lot of times that that water will come back to that level. In other words, it'll come back to the interest level of where the market was prior to the movement when it broke away. Think about it a different way. You have your um, your Bollinger bands. The Bollinger bands expand and then they contract and that's kind of that that setup that you're looking for as an overall all right it's dave knight here for 123daytrade.com thank you for watching thank you for being here i will be moving on to the pro funded account uh, i guess sometime next week after i get through the next three days of trading i need eight nine and ten so wednesday thursday friday i need a couple ticks here bam 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 and move on to the next uh, next uh, area of the, the the account and that would be the pro funded account I'm going to look to see if I can build it to about 5,000 this time that's the overall goal that I'm looking for and then um, move on move on decide what I want to do from there so it looks like uh, probably you know I don't like to trade the week of the fourth so most likely I won't be starting this particular uh, pro funded account until uh, probably and not until um, the week after the 4th so you're looking at probably not starting trading until about the 12th of July on this particular account once I get through these next three days all right I'll talk to you later bye for now